Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Star Agent Starco Gaming here back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, today we're going to talk about the CTP of Insight. There's a lot of questions about the CTP of Insight, and we're going to try to answer them as much as possible. And we're going to try to guide you guys in equipping that CTP of Insight on the proper characters. By the way, guys, if you're watching this video, uh, the day I'm releasing it, uh, right now there are actually uh, an event where you can remove CTP for six crystal from your character. So if you already put that CTP of insight or any other CTP, I believe, I believe so, you can actually just go in, unequip your CTP and put it on the proper character. So before we actually talk about that CTP of insight, guys, I just want to give you a quick reminder. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy the content, uh, make sure to enable the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when I post a new video. Go live with the live stream. We stream every Friday, Saturday night, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Also, we do give two coupons of 300 crystal on every single stream. So make sure you don't miss the stream for that, guys. And if you want to play Marvel Future Fire on PC, Check the description below the video and click on the link next to play Marvel Future Fight on PC. So, CTP of Inside first. We're going to look at the stats on that CTP of Inside, which we should be able to find right here. We go here and here. Those are the maximum stats you can actually have. Max HP is 34%, the maximum you can have. All defense, 39%. And then you got the two proc here. You got increased damage dealt to to superhero type characters by 20% and increased damage dealt to supervillain type characters by 20%. Also, there is four different versions of this CTP because uh, obviously those procs are not gonna be 20% for both when you get your CTP, unless you're very lucky. So there are four versions of this card. If you get 10% on the proc, you are not gonna get both up at the same time it will decide between superhero uh 10 or supervillain 10 so you have two versions of the cards there then the third version is a superhero and a supervillain by 15 percent and the last version the optimal version is 20 percent on both so if you only see one one line on the proc on your ctp it's because you are at 10 percent proc which only gives you either superhero or super villain and honestly guys those are the only stats you worry about on this ctp because the max hp you don't give a or shit about it it's really not about the hp it's not about the defense it's just about the increased damage you're gonna get 15 percent is good 20 percent is optimal so now where are you going to be able to use the CP ctp and how does it work so the best example i can say uh how it works it's simple it works like a tier 2 passive for example the cool sense here to passive but with a working as a proc instead of working as a you know being just active and being passive so pretty much you're gonna have an extra ctp icon in your game when you actually well on the, on the top left corner uh well we can actually go into a match to show it guys to give better example but basically you're gonna have an extra icon for an extra uh, custom gear on the top left corner of your screen which actually gives you an extra ctp proc and the characters doesn't need to strike or doesn't need to any do anything the support characters you put your your ctp of insight on it's just do it do it by itself sorry guys i went to the wrong spot i want to at least go in there so here we have one on uh valkyrie so uh this team here whatever doesn't really matter so we're gonna add a character in there let's go there real fast so let's find combat valkyrie and we're actually going to show the ctp of inside i have on there first so this is the ctp of inside i got on there you can see i got 15 percent and 15 percent so we're gonna add her to the team and then we're gonna go uh 
in the fight and we're gonna i don't want to use that because i'm not actually gonna run the fight i just want to show you guys uh, how it looks and how it works and even if your character die guys i did test it even if your character die it's not gonna matter because the ctp is still gonna work so here you see so we got three custom gear icon on the top left. We have Garber community because I got destruction and electro. We got the proc from uh, the destruction here and boom here, you have the insight proc. So even if uh, Valkyrie is not character playing, the CTP of insight is active on your characters on your main characters on either ca uh, on any characters you're going to be playing in this team it says team of three uh, you play electro and you play uh, for example uh colson <laughs> uh they're both going to have access to that cdp of inside and if you attack you have 10 percent chance to trigger that cdp no matter what like if we go here see we trigger both this one and this one you know it's just trigger whenever it trigger it's very 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 simple so basically what it more what it means is that if you want to uh, maximize your damage in wall boss ultimate online spell extreme for example you want to try to sync both your proc together if one proc go too early the other proc go too late you have to reset your rotation to get both at the same time because the damage the increased damage is actually a quite a nice damage boost for both um, Alliance Battle Extreme and Shadowland and for PvP obviously there are support characters for PvP that will be using it too so that brings me to the next part of this video it's kind of give you a little guide on who to actually put that CTP of insight on I'm not gonna show the character so we're gonna go back here so you guys can actually see the CTP again just because uh, it looks pretty but if we start with PvP in PvP I see two characters that will actually use that CTP of insight uh, as being you know support characters you're not really gonna use and that's not gonna reduce their uh, you know anything because you don't care about it will be wasp and well tier two wasp and uh, Colossus Phoenix 5 those I think those are the two characters that if you care about PvP you want to get an extra a little bit extra damage against superhero and super villain type characters in PvP those are the two uh, characters that will that will bring you know that will be the most useful to put them on because uh, if you jump in timeline alliance conquest or alliance tournament those are the characters that you do not care if they survive or if they die because they are just there to give you a buff uh colossus gives you uh the reduced damage taken and a wasp actually gives you debuff removal just at, as a team up so uh you don't care about them you just want to put something on them that will help your team and i think that the ctp of insight will be optimal on those two pvp character now if we look at wall boss ultimate the wall boss ultimate is pretty pretty simple guys uh you look at what characters you use to push the highest level on the on the team you want to push the highest level you put that on the support characters either support or leadership characters that you don't actually use as as a character like uh, she all kashiri valkyrie coulson uh, nick fury uh, you know all those characters all those support characters and leadership characters are all very good target for that ctp of inside that's all you cared about where you're gonna put it on for world boss ultimate now for alliance battle extreme it's a little bit uh different because alliance battle extreme you want to take the date that you're not capping because i'm guessing somebody looking to put a cdp of inside in alliance battle extreme is because he's competitive in alliance battle extreme so he wants to bring uh, a better score on those days he's not actually able to achieve the cap in alliance battle extreme which is for most most people will be um, uh, blast villain with uh with cyclops they cannot cap then uh the days with minerva which is uh, combat female and uh, uh, female super villain then the electro day which is speed super villain those are the four days that most people don't actually cap so what you want to do is you want to take the characters that covers the most the most ground like for blast villain blast villain is two round every two weeks so you want to put one in there so you have a choice between magneto 
and Euless Claw. Personally, I put it on my YouTube because I don't use Euless Claw anymore since uh, it's not optimal for me. I have enough critical damage. So I put one on my YouTube that will cover two Alliance Battle Extreme Round. Then after that, I look at who else can actually cover two days in Alliance Battle Extreme as a team up. Uh, I got Black Cat because Black Cat is best team up for both uh, Minerva on Super Villain Day and uh, well, on Female Super Villain Day and for Electro on Speed Villain Day, Black Cat is part of the team for both of them because she also bring another uh, another buff which is actually quite awesome. Well, debuff for the Beast which is actually quite awesome, uh, increasing your score a little bit. So. She will be the target number two, in my opinion, to put that CTP of insight. And target number three, you want to increase your score in the female super villain, uh, no, female combat Alliance Battle Extreme. And you want to take, take characters that will help you in uh, Alliance Battle Extreme to, uh, uh, in World Boss Ultimate 2. Now, if you don't have paywall characters, obviously that's going to go directly on Shuri. But if you do have a, a paywall characters, which is Valkyrie, I think Valkyrie is the optimal for that. So personally, I got three CTP of inside guys, and I am Alliance Battle Extreme competitive. That's all I really cared about in the game. Yeah, I enjoyed the rest of the game, but that is my main focus uh, in my alliance because I am in Eternals and we try to uh, stay in top 16 as much as possible. So for me, the best target is Magneto, number one, Black Cat, number two, and Valkyrie, number three. So that's where I put my three CTPF inside. So hopefully, guys, in this video, I did enough blah blah to actually help you uh, help guide you in where you want to put your ctp off inside and the last little thing here guys how can you get that ctp off inside right i shall cover that at the start of the video obviously uh but it slipped my mind there is only one way you can acquire a ctp off inside as for right now uh in the game we are december 3rd 2019 as for right now the only way to get ctp off inside if but is by uh uh, gambling right here right here uh, custom gear chest gambling that is the only way to get it it's not available through the ctp selector and as right now there is no legendary battle extreme package that will allow you to get a ctp of inside so uh, my recommendation if you're looking for ctp of inside to wait for chance up on ctp of inside to happen and then you gamble for it and that is pretty much how you do it guys Anyway, that pretty much covers what I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. If I did any mistake, if you don't agree with something with me, or if you have any question on uh, uh, that, I forget to cover about the CTP of Insight or where you should be putting your own CTP of Insight, hit me in the comment section, guys. We're going to talk about it and I will try to uh, guide you as much as possible. And on that, guys, again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumb up uh, on the video, guys, if you want to show so your support to the channel. And I will see you next time.